five-time Premiership winning coach Mal Reilly was again the toast of the town today. Special guest at a sportsman's lunch at South Newcastle. Despite being based on the other side of the world these days, he still keeps an eye on his former club and he likes what he sees. The man forever known as coach. Back in town almost 22 years after delivering Newcastle's greatest sporting moment. Yes, it was very special for me and, and uh, for a lot of people. I, I, and, and, I, and I think if someone had written a script on, on how to finish a game, I don't think it could have been written any better. And Mal really still draws a crowd. Old boys, former club officials and the Knights founding father reuniting to remember one perfect day. They're good stories, aren't they? We did all our best and we finished up with something. Riley's greatest legacy, though, the values and standards he set. Respect and you know, discipline and those sorts of things that he, that he instilled in the club. He's got a real affinity with the town here, giving him, he was the first coach to coach us to a first grand final win with the club and just a world-loved, well-respected fella. But it was the stories they came for today, none better than when the hands-on coach stepped in the ring. I was just sort of sparring with Crow and he landed me one right on the, right on the nose and he meant it too, I knew he did. And uh, that just fired it off and for, a, for about 45 seconds or so. We exchanged a few blows. It was all fun, but there was a little bit of vigour in it too. The best news was saved for Newcastle's long-suffering supporters ahead of another NRL campaign. I think the potential this season is is higher than it's been before, so the expectations are always there in Newcastle. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and let's hope they get a lot of success. Stephen Mount, NBN News. And the annual Mick Whale Curry Memorial Rugby Sevens event will be held tomorrow in what is undoubtedly its biggest addition to date. Six of the ten clubs in Sydney's Shoot Shield will feature at Charlestown St John Oval, as well as a host of leading women's and country sites. It's going to be a great day. Great to see Mal really back in town too. I tell you yeah. what, we saw him boxing. I think he could still throw him. He looks fit. Yeah. Still fit. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He look. He's yeah. amazing. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Gav, how's the weather for us next?
make a reminder that Aldi special buys this Saturday and get caravan covers, privacy screens, and rechargeable bug zappers for stupidly low prices. Only at Aldi. towards the coast this evening's weather shot. We've had quite a lot of high level cloud over northern New South Wales over the drought stricken areas but uh, high level cloud doesn't deliver the rain. Some amazing colours. Thank you Mark for that shot. Uh, the past 24 hours uh, southern New South Wales has received some very nice rain. It's good to see that it's finally backing off for northern New South Wales. A large cluster of severe thunderstorms starting to make its way across the region. That was the first little wave that moved through these storms here flaring up throughout the valley and you can see uh, there's more to come over overnight and throughout tomorrow. Uh, this has been a wild day here right throughout the Riverina, the southern slopes and highlands of uh, the Great Dividing Range and moving in over the southeast. This is a cold front. Remember those? We haven't had one for a long time. It's actually going to deliver some pretty chilly conditions there right throughout Tasmania and Victoria tomorrow. Prefrontal trough there moves through the change. We'll move in tomorrow night and then we'll have a much cooler Sunday morning, sleep in morning with a cooler weather with us, so a little bit of cool air. It's actually the strongest front that we've had so far this season, and it's not that strong. Uh, we'll see some dust kicked up, big dust storms again today, uh, right throughout Forbes and uh, surrounding areas with those fronts passing through, dropping temperatures significantly throughout the southeast tomorrow. Sydney, wild storms there right now, more to come overnight and throughout tomorrow. Oppressive humidity in Brisbane set to continue. And the heat rolls on in the west as well. Let's go to the radar. There's our storms moving across the upper Hunter as I speak and moving towards the coast now. So a little bit of a gap, but uh, that gap will be filled in as we move through the nighttime period with more to come. Plenty of heat to draw off. It's uh, a hot one. There's been moisture content there too with those onshore winds. Plenty of humidity there drawing in with very consistent uh, sea breezes all week. Hot westerly winds tomorrow and then the change comes through tomorrow tomorrow night. So it's going to be still humid and it's going to be very warm again tomorrow and the likelihood of more showers and storms there pushing through with the next front and the actual southerly change coming through. So a bit of a stormy weekend is on the way. Temperatures headed for the mid-30s. A very warm night. It'll be cool momentarily underneath those uh, storms and the showers as they pass through. But once they do, uh, there'll be a lot of humidity around. So probably have some fog about tomorrow morning as well with so much moisture sitting in the valley and then really heating up burning off uh, towards the mid-30s and then a stormy afternoon. Uh, a swell, not much there, still running at about a metre, metre and a half. It's all been driven by those sea breezes, low tide early, coming into the high at about 12. Sun's rise 6.22 and down at 7.50. Uh, once this passes, that's it. It's going to be a lovely, cool start to next week, but then the heat rolls straight back in with the next front passing through Tuesday night into Wednesday. Very hot for the uh, valley. The storms and what rain we get tonight and tomorrow, that will be it for the rest of the week. The next change uh, will produce a couple of showers there for the Central Coast at best. Taking a look at a little bit of surf fishing uh, today. Uh, of course, it's, it's pretty much all of the same. Tomorrow it is going to be, well, small, but it's going to be clean. We've got those westerlies. It was very calm this morning, and we had the westerlies there, nice and hot. But tomorrow we've got that incoming tide, and um, it should be small, clean. So the, the real wave magnet areas is where you want to get to tomorrow to make the most of a brief offshore burst before the southerly comes through for Sunday. Thank you, Gav. Finally tonight, some incredible video of a fish that just loves to surf. This puffer fish was spotted at a Central Coast beach playing in the shore break before expertly riding a wave and even pulling into the barrel. 
The stunt was captured by beachgoer Dan Zara, who noticed the little surfer while walking his dog. Pufferfish are often derided for their ability to inflate, exposing sharp spikes. But surely this one has done wonders to improve their image. Just don't touch. That's right. <laughs> it could be Sally Fish Gibbons. <laughs> That's NBN News for this Friday. Our next major bulletin is in the Today Show tomorrow morning. From all of us here, have a great weekend. Good night. Good night.